I traveled to the UK to view one of the most beautiful koi collections there. In this video I visit Tony's koi store and today we get an exclusive tour and Tony shows us his best and biggest fish. Keep watching because in this video you get an insight into the exclusive world of a koi dealer. Okay guys, here we are, welcome to Koi Water Barn uh, in uh, Knockholt in Cooling's Garden Centre. I'm going to take you inside today to show you what uh, as a client you can come down and expect from the beautiful uh, garden centre from Arthur's the Caf. And whether you're building a new pond and you want uh, advice on new filtration or you're just coming to look at some fish or buy some really high quality fish, so, so come through. And today we're going to show you some really, really great big koi as well as some small uh, tosai uh, and uh, come inside. Here we have a tribute to uh, late Keith Holmes, uh, manager here for a good 27 years. Uh, thank you, Keith. Uh, here we have the dry goods section here, where we have uh, all the filtration, pumps, food, fittings, everything you'll need for a koi pond, really. And let me take you straight through and we can show you. Some of the smaller ponds we've got here to the feature pond here. Here we've got fish from 70 centimeters up to 101 centimeters. Some uh, beautiful koi here from Mamataro, uh, Sakai. Uh, some of the best koi in the country in here, and I think the, the biggest, best collection of koi for sale in the UK. So please have a look. And here we have uh, another aquarium pond with the big windows. Uh, this particular pond shows up the Deutz fish. A lot of people really love Deutz fish, horses for courses. So here we have some Deutz Benny Kikikuryu, uh, Benny Kamonryu, uh, Deutz Showa, Deutz Kahaku, Deutz Tancho Sanki. That you really get a good flavour for, and it really exhibits the fish uh, amazingly. Please have a look. So, what's the difference between a normal koi and a Deutz? A Deutz koi. Deutz is um, German in Japanese. So basically a wagoi is a koi here like the Hiyatsuri that has lots of uh, scales. And here we have a Deutz koi with no scales. So they actually have a very leathery, smooth kind of finish on them. So yeah, welcome up here. This is the viewing platform. So from up here you can typically see koi how they're um, traditionally meant to be viewed from the top. Uh, very fashionable these days to be able to see them from the side windows as well which gives another aspect to, to the hobby. Um, here we have an amazing one metre Ginrin Kahaku from Amatara. What else have we got in here? We're going to get this one out in a minute. There's a double maritan uh, Mamataro Thank you, beautiful block zooming. Very clean fish this one, we'll have a closer look in a minute, so to give you some appreciation points. And here's the biggest fish in the pond. A 101 centimeter Mamataro Sankey, with great block zooming. And for a big fish, still has very, very good quality heat, good body shape, and really strong zooming, which is really rare in a, in a big fish. Tally. I run Koi Zen, pond building company. This is primarily my design along with Keith Holmes here at KWB. As you can see from the water and the pictures you've already seen, its clarity is second to none. Fed mainly because of the Awazi product. The drums, yeah, on this particular install it's a little bit tight but space was of a premium. In people's gardens we have a little bit more room. This is gravity fed system. So bottom drain to Awazi filtration through UVs, return back to pond. Yeah, it kind of delivers this kind of clarity all the time, really. <laughs> They're still debating there. So guys, this is pretty fun because today we had a discussion about bottom drains and how you connect bottom drains together 
for example, to one certain uh, filtration system. But um, yeah, we're going to see koi today. So yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> this back is to for koi, back to koi. <laughs> oh, wow, Tony, what a fish. Look at that, guys. So this is 84 centimeter Mamataro, uh, four and a half years old. Uh, real good body shape on this, real, real chunky. Uh, beautiful white skin. As you can see, I'm very clean. If you look at the kiwa, the sashi on the, on the heat, and really beautiful big block sumi here. So at what age did you bought her? We, we've just purchased her. She um, was flown in uh, about two months ago. So I've been under quarantine with uh, the rest of the uh, 82 pieces in here that range from 70 centimeters up to 101. Uh, 101 centimeters, which is the big, big sankey we're just looking at there. Uh, but this is one of my favorite pieces. It's so clean. A really interesting kahaki pattern here. Very nice white base. Fish. Real good body line. That's amazing. She's four and a half years old. So coming up close up. Real interesting head pattern in there. Yeah, I like the two dots. Yeah. Really nice for curing. Uh, indicating, I mean, the parents of this fish, this is from Mako bloodline from Mamataro, uh, indicating there's a good chance this could get over the magic one meter. Evo, would you like to pick one out of the pond? We can put it in the bowl for you. Of course, I'm on my way up. <laughs> <laughs> so Tony asked me if I was ready to pick one out from here. Of course we want to do that. There goes the Pomotaro 84 cm. Look at that, what a beautiful fish. And the guys gently put her back. Um, I need to watch out that I'm not falling into this filter pot. There she goes. Beautiful fish. All right, uh, my turn to pick one. I think the, my pick will be a good pick, but also a very big one. one. In the pond. Yeah. <laughs> Oh wow, there's, there she is. Look at that, how big she is. Oh, please don't, don't drop in. <laughs> I mean, it will be good content. It'll but jump over the window into the bowl for us. Oh, that's insane. Yeah, guys, keep it, keep it straight. Yeah. Oh, She's a beast, well done, she? good job. <laughs> um, it's hard to get the fish on the Respects. professional way. What a fish, Tony. So this is a one meter bowl. Oh, it's touching. Two, touching, two. yeah. That's so amazing. maybe the magic one meter now. Look at the body on this fish. Yeah, the body is phenomenal. That's ridiculous. For a Ginring Kahaku still to have this body line and beautiful skin quality and Ginring scales still. Wow. So what can you tell me about the fish? When did you purchase her? This is Mama Taro. Uh, this was uh, came in about two months ago. This was purchased uh, over the winter, winter time. Um, along with about another 60 pieces from Mama Taro. Yeah, I really like the frame and the size of this one. Just to compare us how big this fish is. Yeah, look at the size of the fins. It's the same as mine and I've got quite big hands. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's ridiculous. That's a normal size watch and now let's see how big this fish is, guys. It's almost as big as a football. That's ridiculous. So how tall are you? Uh, six four. So, so yeah, we got. What do we got here? Uh, Momotaro Showa. Um, yeah. And what do you know? The, do you know the age this side? That's three and a half years old. So yeah, three and a half. And do you know the, the what's the bloodline of this one? Mako Showa. Mako Showa. So yeah, very nice. And you can see the sumi coming on it, and very very intricate pattern, very detailed pattern, and a lot to. To develop but you can see a lot is already happening on it so yeah very very interesting fish a very fun fish as well tony what are you doing <laughs> look at I'm that looking for a 
playing with the fish. Well, there's enough in there, right? <laughs> well, don't jump out. Stay in there, please, for a second. You like the fish? Yeah. Good. <laughs> Which one do you like the most of those two? Well, I like all of the fish. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Smooth pecs, smooth gill plate. But look at the body shape on this one. It's a very strong body, yeah? Yeah. Great. I'm trying to check whether it's male or female. Only way to really tell is to squeeze the uh, out. Like At the moment, I'm decided. But I wanted to put this one in as well. Debate, this is actually a Sankey. This is Sankey from Momotaro with some of the best sumi. Some of the best white skin, heat quality, beautiful patterning. But the sumi quality here is just... a lot of yellow. <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely great fish. Um, so even though this one, the sumi is not up, this is a showa, this is a sankey. So for the um, people that are watching and don't know the difference between sankey and showa, um, you would say normally that if a koi has like really black on his hat because that's one of the markings that people are looking well, for. Well, that's maybe what judges are Sanka. what the old books would have said. Exactly. But at the end of the day, it's down to the breeder and what the breeder decides. And uh, this was bred from Sankey, but it just has very, very good quality sumi. Yes, it's got a couple of black spots on the head. So if you were taken to that sh to a show, maybe it would be benched as shower due to European and UK um, judging standards. But uh, this is from the horse's mouth. Mamatero says this is a sankey.